Today, we are going to talk about the Hydra from God of War 1. Originally, the idea was to run every single boss fight in the God of War franchise, but because of the time it takes to make and other reasons such as me not having the footage, it was changed to this project which is going to be a playlist on my channel. Without prolonging the inevitable, let's get to it. Firstly, I will just say the mythological history of the boss which we are fighting and then move on to the boss fight itself, discussing its gameplay mechanics, presentation, soundtrack, QT moments, weaknesses, strategies, and pretty much anything that would be interesting to know about. Well, in Greek mythology, Lernian Hydra was a ferocious snake-like monster with multiple heads, one of which was immortal and the rest of which would spawn multiple new heads if destroyed. Its father was none other than Typhon, of course, a monstrous snake, and its mother was a half-woman, half-snake being named Echidna. Hydra had many traits besides head regeneration. It also had a very poisonous breath and blood, so that's pretty much it about the lore that we find. How do they present a 2005 PS2 boss. Actually, they did a great job. You're just exploring and walking around through the level, collecting stuff, and suddenly a giant serpent plunges into your screen. Anyway, moving along, we fight some featherless birds, exploring the level, and then boom, once more with an element of surprise. As we are climbing the ropes, we encounter humans trying to fight off the Hydra before they both get killed. This fight is the ultimate power fantasy. One human versus three big snakes. But there is a very cool gimmick to it. You see, the biggest snake is the giant one and it's controlling the others so the other two snakes will keep healing if you hit them and they will let you climb to face the big one so kratos decided to brutally impale their necks which is also satisfying and comes along with huge juicy red orbs once that's done you can climb to the upper level to face the last one kratos hits her head on the wooden plank more than enough times which gets the hydra dizzy and leaves the chance for kratos to impale her using the environment and he gladly does it he impales the big snake forcing the sharp wooden plank through the hydra's mouth because that's the Spartan way to do it. Did I forget to mention the soundtrack? It slaps. Let's get to the gameplay part. The first Hydra head has a total of two attacks if you exclude the first one which is a bit different. All of the attacks are blockable and well telegraphed so you know when she's about to hit you. And yes, I'm calling her a she. It's much easier for me at least. The most effective punish you can do is after blocking her attack to hit her with one light attack square and one heavy attack triangle. Since the monster is right in your face, range shouldn't be a problem. The combo has fast recovery time and if you abuse it correctly, it deals the most damage area of the game. Well, that is if we exclude the last heavy attack of your combo string. Moving on to the second Hydra head, which is in a more open area and there are many more tactics and strategies you can use. But firstly, let's talk about her attacks. In here, she has a total of 5 attacks, which only 2 of them are actually blockable. She can snatch Kratos and try to chew him and throw him to a wall. She of course bites a lot. She has her area of effect attack which hits all over the place. If you try to run away she'll bring you back with her breath and lastly she also uses her body to hit you. Now the only blockable moves are her quick bites and the body hits. All the other moves are unblockable and have to be dodged or positioned perfectly. There are many punishes you can do aside from your one square one triangle combo for DPS. If you trust your fingers to do the job you should let her grab you and initiate the QT. If done right she will take a lot of damage and be stunned. From that point, try not to mask your light or heavy attack string and take it slowly. Start with the one light and follow it up with one heavy attack and pace your attacks adding time to land the big hit once she is vulnerable. Another punish is to run away in the lower right corner. This will trigger her breath attack in which you will have time to land one big hit on her safely. If she starts to use her area of effect attack which she hits her head all over the place, do not panic. You can just hack this bot and you can attack her all you want, but be careful to not steer away because when Kratos attacks, he is walking towards the direction which he is attacking. The next two heads which are the same as the previous one, although I have one thing to add. When they try to blow you, pause. When they try to blow you away from one another, you have the time to either cancel it with Poseidon's Rage, build up your combo string, or you can either stand in that corner in which only one attack can hit you and you cannot be blown away. To the final Hydra head, she is the main villain because she controls the other ones. All her attacks are unblockable except the scream attack. If you block this one, Kratos gets to keep his knees. The main punish, which is very satisfying to use, is when she is going to bite Kratos' ass. You have to jump and use Poseidon's rage and keep Kratos in the air with light or heavy combos. The moment you hit the floor, keep attacking using your light attacks mostly and jump and loop her into doing the same method. But be careful because she can hit Kratos hard. That was the video, please don't forget to at least like it if you did enjoy it, thank you and see you on the next one.